Well, that didn't feel great. Those soldiers were just like the slaves, driven by a warped sense of loyalty. Yeah, that was just about as hollow a victory as they come. It's strange. I always thought loyalty was one of the greatest virtues out there. Now I'm not so sure. Is it simply a question of where your loyalties lie? Or is it fealty itself that's the problem? Maybe it only becomes a problem the moment you stop thinking for yourself. So if we defeat Volron, you think they might learn to think independently again? Actually, no, never mind. This isn't the time. We can worry about that after we finish the task at hand and defeat Volron. As expected, Volron's elite guards are quite formidable. Their equipment and training far exceed those of any foot soldier. We need to be careful not to let them exhaust us before we reach Volron. Or skits. A grandiose castle for a grandiose city. He really didn't cut any corners. They're certainly akin to each other. And yet, I'd say the castle seems even more reflective of its owner's personality. In what way? It feels overbearing, tyrannical almost. But more than anything, merciless. As if any pretense to ease of living was sacrificed in favor of sending a message. One of domination, and a thirst for total power. In other words, the perfect domicile for our power-crazed foe. That's why he let us in. It's precisely the message he wanted to convey. Almost like he's mocking us. That bastard's in the mood to play? We'll see who's laughing once we've taken him down a peg or two! Oh my god, the more? Is it just me, or is the blazing sword burning even more brightly than before? Yeah, as if the astral energy within it has become more powerful somehow. It would appear Alfin has learned to harness his sovereign abilities to even greater effect. Is that true, Alfin? I... I'm not sure. I don't think I'm doing anything differently. You're not. It's proof of your strengthened bond with Xion. No further explanations needed. Oh man, for real? Nice! Is that true? How am I supposed to know? <laughs> Fat lot of good the two of you are! I may have a theory or two I could offer. Yeah, no. I think we're good. Now that you mention it, though, I guess I have noticed a change. It's like there isn't as much resistance when energy's being siphoned from my Master Core. Aha! So it is a Bond thing! Aw, you guys! Wait, what about your hand? That thing practically used to give you third-degree burns every time you wielded it, right? Kisara's got a point. And if it's gotten even hotter since then... I won't lie. The searing heat and pain are almost unbearable. Almost. When I'm fighting, I'm somehow able to endure it. It's like... the sword becomes part of me or something. Like I can feel it pulsing through my chest. I can't describe it. In other words, your heart burns with a flame more powerful than even that of the sword. Fascinating. Yeah, take it from our resident poet laureate. <sighs> hmm? Some of these are quite long, I'm gonna lie. Um, Alright, I'm thinking I need to go back and heal. That was a messy fight. So let's see, can I work back? Yeah, we can. I'm not gonna go into... not go to the owl like forest quite yet. Because I have the food buff on, so let's just grab that first. Then we can go check out the owl and the extra zones that we didn't... There's certainly an abundance of water in this realm, isn't there? Yeah. Shion, could we talk a moment? Do you mind if we chat a bit? Now there's something I never thought I'd hear you say. Remember when we talked about what it was like for me growing up? Well, I thought it only fair that I also get to ask what you were like as a child. My childhood? Maybe you missed the memo that was going around, but... 
I can't remember anything of my past. I know. Just whatever you can remember. There's gotta be something, right? Hmm. Let me think. Well, have I ever told you about my army days? Back when I used to serve under a Dan and Master? Yeah, but that must have been after you were already grown up, right? Do you happen to remember anything from back when you were younger? <sighs> Actually, I remember I had a kid with me. You had a kid? No, of course not. The child's father was another soldier. Back in those days, we risked our lives for a master we'd never even seen. We just fought for them and didn't even question it. When that kid's dad died and I saw them sitting there crying, I felt this bitter, indescribable feeling. It was like I was drinking something toxic that I knew I shouldn't, but couldn't stop. It was strange. I never understood why I reacted like that. Soldiers died every day. It wasn't anything new. What it tells me is that deep down, you were the same man then as you are now. You've never been able to accept injustice in the world. If you keep talking like that, you're going to embarrass me. I wonder whatever happened to that master and poor kid. Not that there's any way of knowing now. You know, I just remembered that kid was good at sewing dolls. They gave me one once. It was a good luck charm to protect me. Dolls? Didn't Xion have a doll? I'm looking forward to breakfast. Hmm? And also, they refer to, often refer to the child as they. Instead of specifying um, whether it was a she or not. Maybe it's to hide the, what is it, maybe it was Xion. <laughs> Would be kind of weird. But Xion did mention that there was a doll in her life that she kind of lost, right? I'm not getting a lot of points here, like... Let's just get this then. Alright, Xion's got a lot of points here, and I don't see any other trees, so... I think we got all her trees. Uh, improved healing arts. Definitely. That's an aerial thing. Let's go for this. Although we should technically think about finishing these circles, but whatever. There's nothing here. This is lacking a lot. There's nothing here I care about. Dolly and Law will wait until I play them on, and. Guys. We've got luck. Until I play them and figure out exactly what their playstyle needs. I click yes or no. <laughs> to do. We've reached our destination. All right. Let's hope we don't have to work our way through another meat grinder, because that would ruin the mood quite a bit. Going in. Gonna say that uh, meat grinder before. It's gonna say that meat grinder before we fought Almadria was uh, quite boring. I won't forgive you. Just nuke. I barely did any damage. Did, did a little bit of damage. I was dodging. That's my cue. Shut him down. Eliminate the dark. Hit him. Burn it. 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 Burn
And combo them. That's why. You got him. Oh, he broke. That's okay. God, these enemies are boring to fight. Not gonna lie, super boring. <laughs> That still cost me some uh, CP. All right, it's not that big so far. With such a huge area to search, where should we even begin? I believe the largest, tallest structure would be best in Castle. Oh my God! So where is he? There's no sign of him here, so I can only assume he's waiting for us in his throne room. What's with all the fake suspense? Why doesn't he just come out and face us? I'll say. It's not like he's had any problem doing that in the past. This is all one big game to him. He's probably savoring every last moment. Like a zoogle toying with its food before the kill. No wonder he doesn't have any friends. This is all just a ploy to weaken his prey, wearing us down before the final ambush. It's all too well orchestrated to be anything else. Alvin? I'm fine. Once we defeat Volron, the final master core will be ours. With that, we can create the Renis Alma and finally put an end to this whole nightmare. <clears throat> the only thing I can imagine, the reason why he's doing this is because afraid of something that could awaken within Alvin or Xion. <laughs> just not even flinching. The guy's just standing there. Oh my god. <laughs> He's still alive? Oh no. I lost the strike bonus thing. <laughs> Getting sure you can buy the Zuko. Can I just skip these? They're so boring to fight. They just Is stand the there. Being pulled up like some kind of drawbridge. I'm guessing there's no way to kick it back down, huh? Most likely, it's connected to a control apparatus of some sort. I suggest we search around and see what we uncover. Actually, I might want to kill. Just a few more, just just to get their material in case I have to upgrade some stuff. Seriously? Is this a joke? Not on my watch. Uh, Try harder. Now. Yes. No. On yes. It's go time. Go in. That damn problem. Ready. 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 This one's mine. Where are you going? Oh. Go away. Ready. 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 I'm out of it. Watch and we far enough. Oh. 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 My shield. Shut him down. <laughs> Spam a little bit. Here goes. Make it ready. Go for it. Prepare to crumble. Here, let me have it. Here it goes. Perverse aid. Hey, you are. Heads confiscated. Power of water. Again with the weird jump. Take it. 
Okay. Coming through. Ha! No. Scarlet Inferno. Mega Ray. Oh no, the only miss. For some reason, Alfin is behaving very strange now. He's not really dodging in the right direction. Controls are very delayed. It's very odd. Both? <laughs> Am I on a roll or what? Well, look who's in a bright and shiny mood. Alright, so we have to go lower this drawbridge. Sure. Ooh, a red chest over there. Well, it's been a while since uh, Alphen has done that. It'll take more than this to stop us. <sighs> Perhaps they were trying to exhaust us. That's no ordinary enemy I see over there. It's a lot of them too. There's no way I'm fighting all of that at the same time. Oh, crap. Absolutely no way. That's just tedious. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> I've got a really go. bad feeling about this. Oh, that's gonna miss. Well, it hit actually. <laughs> you see what I mean? A few, like a couple of episodes ago, not a couple. Earlier, I explained that the, why these wolves are so annoying. They don't even hit. They just jump away. <laughs> <laughs> they can't even hit their target, man. Oh, it actually hit. Wow. Oh, I interrupted. Alright, let's weed out. Do everything I can with this power. Make us proud, Alfin. Yeah, we're counting on you. I. Uh. I guess I am too. A little. Let me just go grab it. Oh, 1400, 14,000 gold. I'll take. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Little help. Here I come. Strike. Now. Just stand still, please. This one's got your name on it. Ashes to ashes. Oh, that's a new one. All right. Everyone still in one piece? Yep. Not gonna bother cleaning out the rest of that room. Um. I barely worked up a sweat. Let's run past this. This is fine. Oh wait, no. I didn't see the uh, Imperial Guard in the back there. By the way, I wanted to say sorry for attacking you when we first met. Fret not. Out of our way! Back here. An astral arts? That's my cue. All yours. No astral arts allowed here. I'm sure something more interesting I could say, but honestly, it's just grinding through the same enemies over and over. The enemy variety is uh, nothing to. Everyone still in one piece? Yep. Nothing to reward in this game.
That's a lot of golds. If they're expecting some big showdown or upgrade session. Alright, this we can fight. It's just annoying. I'll do my best. In pain. Hear me, Blue. In a Wait, that double, I got to do that twice? Interesting. Just unload everything. Oh, he must have recovered right away. Oh, because I probably have like recovery on down and they all down. <laughs> so I got an instant one back. So in other words, stacking them isn't really that good, you should try to get downs with them. If you put points into... Uh, boost gauge when you down. Which is what I've done so far. I don't think I have any points in boost gauge on defeats. It doesn't really serve much of a purpose in boss fights. Am I on a roll or what? Well, look Eve who's in a bright and shiny and mood. gold. What's up with all the gold? I'm getting all this scared now. A new enemy? What is this? Oh no, there's just a gargoyle. It's just a reskin of the gargoyle. Come on, we need Shion's, thank you. Can you take care of them? No sooner said than done. Here's a healing arc. The enemy wields arcs too. You'll soon see about that. It's nice that you don't have to aim at enemies that uh, use Astral Arts with uh, uh, <laughs> Rinwell's boost. I wish I'd known that earlier. Oh, that's too funny. Take care of this thing. What hit me? Icicle? Ah man, too far. Oh, Stalin. Ah, that's why. That guy's casting it. I didn't see the, uh, I didn't see the, uh, casting wheel. I thought it would show up if, even if it was behind me. Come on. Time to die. There we go. What's over here? Battle suit. Battle suit. This way. Can't sneak past this. Sneak past this, can we? That's fight. Out of our way. One of them's gonna get to cast, so that's fine. A spam raining slash. And then cycle over to this guy. No! Ah, oh, the next one. Of course. Oh, 
Inferno! Searing Flame! Reload! Both are like Flaming Condemned! Mega Thunder Blade! Illuminate! Here's a healing arc! Only Glimmer! First aid! Lance! Hear me! Flaming Fury! Burning Strike! Glacial Fear! Here's the evil! Lightning Condemned! Dude, Rindo is missing a lot of abilities. Like I'm, I'm looking at Rindo missing everything. <laughs> well, not all everything, but a lot of stuff. The Rindo AI is well, then, not very let's good. Let's keep moving. Oh, I got something. I have too much of something. It's Peach. Was the Mage AI always this bad? I can't remember it being that this bad in the, the older game I played, but to be fair, that's the one I played, Symphonia, is very old, so a long time ago. I remember Reyna being a little bit tricky because uh, her needing to be in like over limit to be able to summon her stuff, uh, because it was such a long cast time. So it was easy to get interrupted. Silk rope. But other than that... Right, so... Right, control is probably on the other side. Actually, I think I'm gonna end here. I don't know how much uh, more there is. It seems like there's quite a lot. It seems like there's two more floors above this. One there. And one up there. Potentially even one higher up there. Potentially three more floors. It's gonna be a while. So, uh, I'll end here. Um, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And in the next one, we just straight up continue. So, yeah, straight up. So, have a nice day. Bye.